I'm Sean Skipper, American Hunter's web managing editor. Earlier this season, I had the opportunity to join some of our industry friends from Leupold Optics for a trip to southeastern Colorado to hunt one of the continent's most sought after trophies, the bull elk. We joined guys from Full Draw Outfitters, an operation run by Fred Eichler, who most of you know from Sportsman Channel shows like Easton Bowhunting and Predator Nation, and geared up to take our shot. Now, if you're going to be spending five days hunting the thick timber, you're going to want to make sure your gear is going to come through when it counts. And we were sporting some top of the line optics. When afield, I carried my Leupold BX3 Mojave Binos and RX1200i TBR Laser Rangefinder. The TBR stands for True Ballistic Range and is a feature that marries laser rangefinding with an inclinometer and advanced computerized ballistics to produce measurements that are accurate to less than a yard, no matter the angle you're firing from. It really comes in handy when preparing for a long range rifle shot from a ridge and should be of note for you archery hunters too. Of course, when we really needed to reach out and see what was around, we broke out a gold ring spotting scope a rugged, lightweight, and easy to pack option that should suit you no matter where the hunt may go. After five days of hard hunting, I was able to get on a bull, and that's where the rest of my toys came into play. I was shooting a Ruger M77 Hawkeye chambered in 300 wind mag, and we topped it with a Leupold VX6 that was set up with the company's CDS, or Custom Dial System feature. If you purchase a Leupold Optic and tell them that you'd like to set it up with a CDS, the company will customize your scope's elevation dial to match your exact load, velocity, and conditions. Once you range your target, you'll be able to turn the dial to the correct position, put your crosshairs dead on the target, in my case, the Elks Vitals, and squeeze the trigger. Our optics were configured specifically for the 300 Win Mag nozzle cartridges we were shooting. So, had I wanted to reach out and touch a bullet at 500 yards, all I needed to do was adjust the CDS dial, which offers quarter inch MOA click increments. Once I had set it for 500, I could hold dead on, at least elevation wise. It's easy stuff. On the final day of the trip, guide Ryan Solomon helped me get on the bull that I ultimately tagged from roughly 230 yards. Granted, that distance didn't really do much to test the rig we put together, but elk can be tough customers. We weren't keen on letting him walk away from us just so I could dial up my CDS. The full story behind the hunt, as well as a few more photos and a complete breakdown of the gear I had on hand, will be featured in a future print edition of the magazine. So keep an eye out for that in the coming months. In the meantime, stay tuned to AmericanHunter.org.